to my bow. Today we're going to be looking at adding fractions. Before we start the questions, we just need to recap on a few skills I know you've done previously in class. So how to simplify fractions. How do I simplify 24 fortieths? I need to change it to a simplest form. To simplify a fraction, we need to find an equivalent fraction which uses the smallest numbers possible. And we do this by dividing. We need to know our tables for this. So ask yourself, what can I divide both 24 and 40 by? I could divide it by 2, which will give me 12 twentieths. But I can see this fraction can again be simplified. So I need to divide it by a bigger number. So let's try 4. If I divide both by 4, I get 6 tenths. Again, I can see this fraction can still be simplified. So let's try 8. If I divide both by 8, I get 3 fifths. 8 is the biggest number I can divide both 24 and 40 by, and 3 fifths is the smallest numbers possible because I can't divide them by anything else. Improper fractions. This is a fraction which the numerator is greater than the denominator. We call them big headed. So for example, this one has six fourths. It can also then be put into a proper fraction of one whole and two quarters. But the two quarters can be simplified. I divide it both by two. I've now put my fraction into a proper fraction. So let's have a go at changing this mixed number into an improper fraction. What do we know? We know that a whole will equal 5. And I know that I've got 2. I also know that I've got 2 fifths coloured in. What is this fraction as an improper fraction? How many do I have coloured in? Well, I have 12 coloured in, and I know my whole number is 5. Okay, so we're going to have a go at a question now, guys, remembering to use these skills we've just recapped. Can we complete the pyramid? To complete the pyramid, we need to remember we need to add two joining to equal the top. And we're going to be using the skills that we've just looked at to help answer these questions. Let's look at the first part. So what do I know? I know that three quarters add something is going to give me one and one twelfth. Now from previous lessons, we know we need our denominator to be the same to be able to add them up. So what is the common multiple of four and 12? We know that four and 12, the common multiple is 12. So I need to change my first part of my fraction to 12. What do I multiply the 4 by to get 12? I multiply it by 3. So if I multiply my denominator by 3, I multiply my numerator by 3. And if I do that, I get 9 twelfths. So 9 twelfths add something is going to equal 1 and 1 twelfth. Now I need to change this into an improper fraction. So I know a whole is 12 and I've got one whole there, and I've also got one twelfth. So 12 add one will give me 13 twelfths. I can now add my fraction. So nine twelfths add something will equal 13 twelfths. What is it? Well, we know that nine add four will give me 13. Now four twelfths can be simplified what will divide into both 4 and 12 equally? Well, I know that I can divide both of them by 4. If I do this, I get 1 third. So well done, guys. We've completed our first square. Let's go back to our original question. Let's look at another part of our pyramid. So what do we know already? Well, we know 1 and 1 twelfth is the same as 13 twelfths. So 13 twelfths add something will equal 2 units. 
Now the two units we know is two holes and each hole is 12. So two units is the same as 24 twelfths. Now let's answer the question. 13 add what will equal 24? We know that 13 add 11 will equal 24. Can we simplify this fraction? Is there a times table that we can divide both 11 and 12 by? There's not, so we can't simplify that fraction anymore. Well done guys, we've completed two parts. Now let's look at the last part. Three quarters add what will equal 11 twelfths? So again, we can't add up until both our denominators are the same. And the common multiple of 4 and 12, again, is 12. I need to change the first part of my fraction to 12, which we've done on our previous workings out. Now my denominators are the same, we can add them together. So 9 add what will give us 11? 9 add 2 will give us 11. Can I simplify this fraction? Yes, I can. I can divide both 2 and 12 by 2. 1 sixth is the simplified fraction. Well done, guys. So you've completed the pyramid. Have a go at these and upload them to Seesaw for your teacher to see. Good luck, guys.